back to Brunette Wig Place. I'm Lisa. I am so glad that you're here today. Before I get started, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button below. Then every time I post a new wig related video, you will get a notification letting you know that I posted something new. So today I am wearing a really cute new style. This is Mellow by Aesthetica and the color is Caramel Kiss. So Mellow is a new addition. They have a new collection this summer called the Mood Collection and uh, it's new for summer 2020. So they came out with three new styles recently and this is one of those styles. So really, really cute style. And Caramel Kiss, I have wanted to try Caramel Kiss for the longest time and I just kept putting it off and kept ordering other shades um, from Aesthetica. And I'm excited I finally got to start, try Caramel Kiss. This, um, I purchased this at Wig Studio One, by the way. I just looked at this cut and I thought, you know, that would be a good cut to have some dimension with some highlights and some variation in the color. So, and I'm really, really happy with that choice, you know, of this color with this particular style. I think it's really, really pretty, really lends itself well to this cut. So let me do a turn all the way around and then we can get into all our specifications. So here's the front. Like I said, just a cute little shaggy cut. Really light, comfortable, easy for summer, low density. So here is the right side. The back. My left. And then back to the front. So as far as her measurements are concerned, she is nine inches here in the front on the bang and that nine inch layer, you know, goes all the way across here. So I think that if you wanted to cut, you know, a shorter bang or whatever, I think that that could be done. Uh, she has eight inch sides. She has, she's 12 and a half inches from the crown and she has a six and a quarter inch uh, nape. So nice length. I like where she's hitting on me. I do have a four inch neck. So uh, just for reference, it might look a little longer on you if your neck is a little shorter. My face is eight inches. So I'm a foot from here to here. So just something to note, your measurements may be a little different. She may be a little longer. She may be a little shorter on you, but really, really nice length. You know, I think these ends are going to hold up well, especially since it's summertime where I am and they're not going to brush up against, against a lot of fabrics and stuff anyway but really, really a cute cut for summer. So uh, her weight, by the way, is 3.39 ounces. So she's nice and lightweight. So cap construction wise, she has a lace front and I think it's nicely done. You can see the knotting some, but it's not, you know, the knots are pretty tiny, but you know, that's not an unusual thing on a brunette shade. And then she has a left mono part, which is nice. Looks really good. This one didn't come with a zigzag part, so just something to note. They don't always come with a zigzag part. Don't be alarmed about that. I think that's just manufacturer, you know, preference. I don't know. So anyway, but no zigzag part. Um, she doesn't, if she has any T's, it's not a lot. I can't feel it. She's, you know, she's looks low density on the camera, as you can see, and she is that low density. She feels low density. She's light. I like the way that they lightened up the ends by texturizing this cut so much. You know, it just keeps it light, airy, and really, really comfortable. So let me pop her off and we'll look at the inside of the cap. Typical um, cap construction that you see from Aesthetica. So she's got this left side part. I like the fact that the part goes all the way back to the crown. That's nice. She has uh, this temple to temple lace front, goes down onto that ear tab. So extends the lace front a little bit, and that looks really nice. She has just a closed lace up here, but like I said, no, not because there's permatease under there. Just, I think she's got a little lifting at the rooting and that's about it. So she's got just fabric covered ear tabs. They aren't the felt, um, but they're still soft. She has the hook adjusters. So once you find your spot on there, just leave it where it is. And then she has uh, open wefting all through the cap and she has an extended nape that is also open wefted. So, very nice. So I'll pop her back on and we can look at this pretty color. Okay, so this is Caramel Kiss. Now Caramel Kiss comes in Caramel Kiss and Caramel Kiss RT4, which is a, has a four root. This one is not the rooted one. Although I think the way the, the, way the highlights and everything, it kind of looks like it has a little rooting, but it does not have a specific different shade for the rooting. So really, really pretty. So Caramel Kiss is a golden brown with a light copper blonde highlight. The highlight I would describe as being, you know, a chunkier, much more visible highlight. It is not a blended color. It is definitely a highlighted color. 
but very pretty. This is how I used to highlight my hair in the summer. So uh, very natural looking, very pretty. The highlight goes, you know, all the way down to the ends, goes all the way through the cut, even in the back. So really, really pretty color. Okay, well, let's take her outside and we'll look at Caramel Kiss out in the natural light. So we are outside with this Caramel Kiss color by Aesthetica on the Mellow wig. So I'm under the patio cover right here. I'll step out here in the sun. Really pretty. Those highlights look gorgeous in the sun. Back inside now with Mellow in the color Caramel Kiss. So as you can see, those highlights were really popping out there in the sun. I, I love um, seeing a highlighted color out there with the bright sunshine shining on it. So really, really pretty, very summery. I love that. So um, I did forget to show you the ear tabs and the ear tabs are really nice on this one. She's very ear tuckable and that, you know, I've got good coverage. So ear tab is nice and sturdy, good piece of metal in there. I'm super happy, you know. They have great cap construction. I'm always happy with an Aesthetica wig, so. Now, as far as the way this cap is fitting, I will mention that because Aesthetica wigs are average sized, and um, but they have a lot of stretch. So this cap is fitting me pretty well. I would probably, for comfort sake, in wearing her out, I will wear her with a wig grip, um, just because it just gives me that little added, little bit of circumference, you know, with my 21 inch petite head. Uh, you can, of course, cinch it up more in the back. I, I'm pretty comfortable with uh, where it is right now, but like I said, I just might add a wig grip or maybe, you know, tape down the lace or something just to give me that added, you know, guarantee it's not gonna move, but it's fitting my head pretty well, you know, for a petite head. So don't think, um, I know that there's always, talk that Aesthetica runs really, really big, but don't think that it's too big for your petite head if you do have a smaller circumference because you can add a wig grip, you can, um, I think the thing with their caps in particular is that they have stretch. So if you have a larger circumference, this cap is able to stretch, you know, to accommodate that larger circumference, but it doesn't mean that it rules out us petite girls. So that's a good thing. So as far as styling, I mean, She's, there's a lot you can do. You can play with these layers. You can wear her half up, half down. She's super easy with glasses, you know, no problem. You pop the glasses up on your head, sunglasses, whatever, you know. Um, let's see, that's what I'm talking about. I kind of knocked her back a little bit when I did that, but. So that's why I think I would wear a wig grip with my petite head. So I just got this cute little headband. So she looks really cute with a headband really easy. You could also, if you didn't want to put the headband, you know, the, the traditional way, you can always just stick them in there. And that looks cute too. And then, like I said, you can do, you know, you can do your half up, half down. You probably want to let this bang part fall down that one layer. It looks really cute like that. Kind of a messy, you know, updo, but you can just pull it up halfway, uh, half up, half down. There's also enough length you could do a small low pony, you know, if you just were hot and wanted to get the hair off the back of your neck, or you could twist it up and put it in a cute clip, and I think that would look really cute. So, and then of course, you know, any of your cute little, little, you know, pretty clips stick in there, just have fun with her, and there's all kinds of styling options. So she is really, really a cute style. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of her. I think she's really cute. My husband loves the color. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm glad about. So um, I'm happy to show her to you today. Again, like I said, I did purchase this wig at Wig Studio One. I trust um, and have a lot of confidence in Wig Studio One, and I'm always really impressed with their fast shipping. So lots of fun there. So um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye!